everybody. It's me, Jessica, your health fitness program manager from McLean, and I'm looking forward to guiding you through today's core and stretch class. Uh, we've been doing a lot of focuses on opening up the chest and shoulders, creating space in that upper body, but today we're going to shift it to the lower body and give a lot of love into the hamstrings, the hips, a little lower back, and you know what? Let's Let's get a good stretch in on those quads as well. We're going to start in just about four minutes. And I'm going to recommend that we start from a kneeling position. If kneeling itself is a challenge for you, remember that bringing a block can help with kneeling. Even something like taking, ugh, I'm pretty sore, pardon me, uh, taking your strap and taking your folded over strap and placing the strap right behind your knees can help to take a little bit of pressure off that you might be feeling that might have been making kneeling uncomfortable. So I hope that you'll explore either sitting up on a block or using your strap, or maybe just hanging out in kneeling. And if none of that works, you can start in any sort of seated position that works for you. We'll begin with some gentle breathing, and then we're going to do a sun salutation A which I know we've done before, which is one of my favorite kneeling sun salutations. Uh, just a little bit easier than that standing sun salutation. Whoa, bless you, Uncle Buck. All right, we've got exactly three minutes, so we get started. And then we've got a quick little ab circuit at the end. But we're mostly going to focus on the awesome stretch for today. I'm going to check on the interwebs, make sure everything's recording all right. Happy Wednesday, everyone. If you're here early, I encourage you to take this time to just get up away from your desk, maybe walk around a little bit, maybe grab a couple of sips of water. You know, I'm also into making the space smell as nice as possible. Oops, there it was. Ah, let's just already start to get into that idea of using our breath to find some relaxation. All right, two minutes till we get started. I'm going to refill my high quality H2O and I'll see you on our mats. One minute till we officially get started, but as always, you're welcome to begin coming into your breath early. I know that I am feeling really tight in the lower half of my body, so I'm just going to use ah, this block to find a little bit of a lift so we can relax a little bit more in the stretch. Feel free to give yourself any sort of stretches that feel good. Oh, I have to admit, y'all, I know I mentioned last week setting an intention to do these great uh, neck stretches like after every email and I, I made it happen zero times. I did manage to remember at some point on most days that I completely failed at that resolution 
and happen to get in a neck stretch. So for this next week, I'm going to be kinder to myself. You know, Valentine's Day is coming up. Let's show ourselves some love. And my goal is to just get some of those awesome feeling neck stretches in once a day. Let's let that once a day be right now. We can start with a little bit of breath, a little bit of neck stretching. Let's begin. Thank you for joining us, Uncle Buck. All right, so either kneeling on a prop or just kneeling, or if you prefer to start from a seated position of your choice, ah, uh, slow your breath down. Remember, if your eyes are moving in general, your, your mind is moving, so maybe you close your eyes here as we start class together. Tune into the quality of your breath. What do I mean by that? I mean, where are you breathing? Are you taking a lot of quick, short breaths right here at the top of your chest? Can you slow your breath down and send that air all the way to the bottom of your diaphragm? Start taking a gentle engagement of your abdominal core just to make sure that your back feels good. I know it can be challenging for many people to just sit here in this position, but we're just gonna do our best for about two more breaths. On your next inhale, find a little bit of length through the crown of your head, maybe a little extra lift through your spine. Belly is still gently drawn in. On your exhale, tuck your chin down to your chest. Inhale, look all the way up to the ceiling. You can have your hands grounded on your thighs to be a little supportive as well. Maybe you have your hands on your very needy dog like I do. Exhale, bring your chin down to your chest. Let's do three more breaths like this in your own time. Keeping that long, slow flow to your breath. Think about your nose leading the action. On this next exhale, as your chin comes to your chest, keep it there for a moment. And then drop one ear to your shoulder. Take the time to exhale, pass through, inhale, Ooh, ear comes to opposite shoulder. If you want a little bit extra of a stretch, you can take your hands off of your thighs and reach them, pressing either through the fingers for easier, through the hand palm for a little bit more in the opposite direction that your head is leaning. Maybe you stay there for a breath or two, do what feels right for you. Just about two or three more breaths right here. Think about uh, focusing on hitting both sides the same number of times. So just ending on the opposite side that you started. And then when you finish, once again, bring your chin down to your chest. Inhale, lift yourself up. Next inhale, lift those shoulders up and exhale, roll them down and back. So chest is lifted. Make sure your rib cage didn't totally splay out. So knit that rib cage in. I'm gonna lift myself up off of the block. And let's get ready for a little sun salutation A. So we're gonna start right here in kneeling. Let's actually go ahead, inhale our arms all the way up overhead and exhale, just relax them down by your side. Just warming up those shoulders a little bit. Let's get two more just like that. Inhale, I'm turning my hands, palms forward to get a little bit more openness in the chest and shoulder. Exhale, arms down by your side. One more time, let's inhale our arms up overhead. This time, bring your palms together and exhale, bring your hands down to heart center. Find that one spot in front of you to just focus your eyes. Ooh, keep that lift of your chest, that relaxation as much as you can through your breath, shoulders down away from your ears, starting in kneeling with hands to heart. 
kneeling and prayer. We're gonna inhale, press up onto our knees, stretch your fingers up towards the ceiling, option to come into a little bit of a back bend. So maybe it's just looking up with your eyes, Maybe it's actually reaching your fingers gently towards the wall behind you. And then on your exhale, rain those fingers down towards the floor, coming into it an extended version of child's pose. Inhale. Pull yourself up into cat. You can keep your hands slightly forward or you can gently draw them in. And then tuck your toes under. Exhale. Press yourself up into downward facing dog. Inhale, come on back through, find yourself in that cat again, untuck your toes, exhale, send your glutes back towards your heels, extended child's pose. Now bring lots of weight and pressure into your shins, pressing down to the floor. We're going to lift our hands up, inhale, come all the way up to our kneeling extended mountain or optional little back bend, and then exhale, sit your glutes down carefully, hands come back down to heart as we're right where we started in our kneeling prayer. We're going to do that two more times. And the next two times are going to be just a little bit faster. Feel free to go at your own pace, though, with your breath. Here we go. So starting at kneeling, drawing that lower belly in so the core is engaged. We're going to inhale. Come on up to our extended mountain, maybe even a little back bend. Exhale. Move through the whole length of your breath to come into your extended child's pose. Inhale, pull yourself up into cat, tuck your toes under, exhale, send your hips up towards the ceiling for down dog. Inhale, find your way back to cat, untuck your toes, exhale, send your glutes back towards your heels, extended child's pose. Inhale, lift your hands up, challenging that core already as we come into our extended kneeling mountain. And then exhale, sit down, take a moment. Grounding here, take two breaths. We'll start one more time through. Inhale, Press yourself up onto your knees. Look up with your eyes, nose, chin. Look back with your eyes. Exhale. Extended child's pose. Inhale. To your cat, tuck your toes under. Exhale. Press up and to downward facing dog. Inhale. Bring those knees carefully back towards the mat. Rounding through the back cat. Exhale, back to your child's pose. Inhale, up to your extended mountain. Exhale, back to kneeling. How do you feel? Hopefully you're already feeling a little bit more open, comfortable, flexible. Hopefully your breath is feeling a little bit more relaxed. We're going to press ourselves back up onto our knees, and I want you to just bring one leg forward. Um, I'm going to start opening up those hips. So I'm keeping my legs in a 90, 90 degree right now. I don't, I'm not really oof, shifting too much forward in that front leg. I want you to really press through the shin, the knee, even the top of your back foot down on the floor, gentle squeeze of the glutes until you already start to feel that hip opening. Great. So let's take two more breaths right here, keeping it nice and easy. Now we're going to get a little bit more into the hip. We're going to take a tiny little stretch into the ankle. On your next inhale, lift from your crown of your head. Exhale, start to shift the weight forward. Inhale, we're going to pull it all the way back. So glutes coming back towards the heels, coming into a hamstring stretch. Maybe your toes come up off the floor. The closer that you bring your head towards your knee, the more you're going to feel that stretch behind the leg and the upper back. But you can stay nice and lifted right here if you want to. And then let's shift it forward one more time. Shift it back one more time. Awesome. Come back to that 90-90. Go ahead, bring your two knees together. And let's switch those legs. So opposite legs come forward. 
focusing first on pressing that knee down into the floor, taking a squeeze of your back leg, bent glute, Ooh. and starting to feel that hip open. Two more breaths right here. And then now find that little bit of a forward stretch. And then change your breath. Come on into that hamstring stretch. One more time in each direction. Coming through to that forward stretch. Wow. Coming back into that hamstring stretch. Awesome. Go ahead. Bring your leg, left leg to meet with the right. Go ahead. Open those knees nice and wide. We're going to come into a version of frog child's pose. So really think about spreading those legs as wide as feels comfortable for you. Working to bring your inner thighs a little closer towards the floor. You can bring a block underneath of you. Oh, if you want. For a little bit of support to find a little hip opener in your child's pose. We're going to hang out here. For just about a minute, you can allow your head to hang down heavy to the floor. Maybe you come back to bringing some stretches to your neck, or maybe you prefer to focus on stillness of the upper body. Up to you. Just about two or three more breaths here. Great. Let's take our time to carefully come out of this frog child's pose. Lift yourself up. Bring those two legs together. I'm shifting my glutes to the side of my leg so I can swing those legs forward in front. Awesome. And then lay down on your back. Yay. Come closer, timer. Yay. Ah, relaxing on your back. Excuse me, Matt. All right. Really glue as much of your lower back on the floor as you can. So maybe you need to take a little tilt of that pelvis to get more of your lower back down on the mat, eliminating that bridging that we sometimes feel there. We're going to next draw both of the knees in towards the chest and just hang out with a little knees to chest pose. We're going to find a quad stretch here, and then we're going to turn it into a hip opener with happy baby. So go ahead, bring your right hand on top of your left. Take your left hand, reach underneath for your right foot. So the right foot comes close to the glute. Bring that knee down towards the floor and really actively stretch. So we're not just letting that knee come down towards the floor and then we're done. I'm stretching the knee that's closer towards the floor to the wall away from me and really working to bring the outer edge of it to the mat. If you're really tight, you might already feel that quad stretch without having to get the outer edge of the knee to the mat. Honor what feels right for your body today. Let's take three more breaths here. To come out, do your best to not let your foot fling away from you so carefully with control, bringing both knees back into knees. So chest pose. Taking another moment to really relax that upper body, total spine on the floor. This time, left hand comes on top of right knee. Right hand reaches underneath to grab hold of your left foot. Bring the sole of the foot close to your glute and start to find that stretch into your quad, a little bit of a stretch already happening in that hip flexor. Try to keep both shoulders close to the floor so we're not 
rotating in the direction of the knee that we still have lifted or we're just doing our best, maybe that means you need to uh, switch the way that you have your hands positioned and that's okay as well. Taking just about two to three more breaths here. Now you know that one of my favorite stretches uh, for desk people is the squat. And we're basically gonna practice the squat from here on our back. We're gonna end up doing all my favorite stretches, the dangle and the squat, but from a reclined position, and just see how it feels for your body today. Awesome, so drawing that left knee back in line to meet with the right, with knees towards chest, and you might wanna have your strap nearby. We're gonna send the soles of our feet towards the ceiling. You can either grab hold the back of your legs, maybe you're holding onto your pants, Maybe your flexibility is so awesome that you can easily uh, grab hold of your big toes or the outside of your feet. But if any or all of that seems complicated, go ahead and use your strap. Just still working to have that lower back down on the mat. You're getting a nice opening of the hips right here without having to worry about the balance. So just try and find a little stillness here, a little stillness within the stretch. I know it's probably a big stretch for you. It's a big stretch for me. We're just gonna breathe through it. Three more slow breaths, inhaling in through your nose. Exhaling out through your nose or mouth. If you're anything like me right now, I am starting to notice a little bit of a trembling within my legs. That's totally okay. We're just creating that openness and those connections. Go ahead, bring the soles of your feet together. Carefully release them down towards the mat. Oh, taking a moment here in a reclined bound angle. Maybe you felt good as soon as you came down. Typically, I like to press into the soles of my feet to lift my glutes for a second, to really find that relax and relief through that lower back. Still really working to open those hips, coming back to that gentle inner thigh stretch right here. Great, all right, go ahead, send the soles of your feet down towards the floor. If it feels right, you can windshield wipe your legs in both directions. Let's take a nice little hamstring stretch here before we come into our ab work. So I'm taking my strap, I'm making a loop at the end, and I'm placing the loop on my right foot, sending the right foot up towards the ceiling. You can keep that left leg bent, or if it honors you a little bit more opening, you can straighten that left leg. And then you're just drawing your right leg closer towards your face. It's totally okay if it's nowhere near it. Mine's nowhere near my face today. And if you don't have a strap, you're either grab and hold behind the thigh or on top of the shin, but not applying that pressure directly against the back of the knee. We're going to take the same stretch into two different directions. So now I just want you to cross that right leg over the left side of the body. You might feel that right side glutes lift up off the floor. That's okay. Try not to roll over too much onto the left side of the body. We are trying to create a stretch here. And on your next big inhale, let's send that right leg all the way out towards the right side. Just using the strap for a little assistance. Remember, you can still have that bend in your knee for a little extra support and grounding. Awesome. Inhale that right leg back up to center. And let's go ahead and switch the leg that has the strap. So we're going to do the same three things with that left leg, inhale it all the way up towards the ceiling. Remember, both sides of the body are not the same, so maybe what's easy for you to get 
the left leg straight last time while the right leg was in the air. And maybe you need to keep your knee bent and your foot ground on this side. Let's go ahead, drop the leg over the opposite side of the body. Can you start to find that stretch towards the outer thigh glute? Just taking about three breaths in each direction. And on your next inhale, we're going to open it up in the same direction of the leg that you have lifted. Awesome. Send your left leg up towards the ceiling, taking the strap off. We're done with the strap for today. Moving on into our abdominal work. You can take a moment if you want to. Windshield wipe those legs right and left. Relieve any tension. Create a little bit more openness. And then keep those knees bent. We're going to cross that right leg over the left. Awesome. Make sure there's still some room to circle your ankle. You're not jamming your ankle bone against your thigh. We're going to extend our right arm out to the side, and we're going to start with a nice cross body crunch. That's going to be move number one. We got three ab moves on this side in this same position, and then we're going to take a nice spine twist, but each is going to be for a minute. So I want you to pace yourself here. We're taking this cross body crunch in three, two, one, begin. Here we go. So as you're lifting your left arm towards your right knee, you can press a little bit into your right hand on the floor to help you find a little bit of a lift. I'm taking my time moving slowly here with the breath. So I'm exhaling to come up, inhale to slowly lower down. When we reach the end of this minute, we're going to hold for 10 seconds in our lift. And the great news is we're more than halfway there already. If you want to work a little bit harder, hover that right arm over the floor instead of pressing down into it so that you're using a lot more of the core to lift up as opposed to relying a little bit on your upper body for support. Are you ready for that lifted hold? We're gonna get it in three, two, one. Lift and hold, keep that belly pulled in nice and tight. For three, two, one, awesome. We're changing the move just a little bit. Now the whole body's gonna lift up, knees draw in towards chest, and then exhale, release back down towards the floor. I'm barely applying any pressure of my fingers against the back of the head. In fact, I switched to having just knuckles right by the head so that I eliminate the urge to pull on the head at all. Keeping things nice and simple here to begin with, but I know we've done this before. We're going to really find some extension here as we finish. More than halfway through, then we're going to find that reach and hold. I extend, I suggest as we come up for that reach and hold that you also stretch your fingers towards the bottom of your mat. Awesome. You're doing so great. I know it. I know I'm feeling this, so I'm sure you're feeling this too. Just keep going. Do your best. Oh, find that lift. Reach. Fingers reach towards the bottom of the mat. Shoulders are lifted up off of the mat. Awesome. Now, we're going to extend that leg, still keeping the cross arms come up overhead, and exhale. Find that nice straight leg. If that straight leg doesn't work for you, you can always still bring that bent knee in. Or maybe you bring that bent knee in and then straighten your leg up just to work on that range of motion while still being mindful. We got that spine twist coming up right after this. I know, great news. Oh my goodness. Feel that burn. That's why we're here though, stretched out first. Feeling a little bit more open. 
doing the work. Are you getting those shoulders to lift up off of the floor? How close can you get that heel to the mat? Challenge yourself to see that change. Great. Go ahead. Plant your left foot down. Extend your arms out to the side. Press into your left heel. Roll over gently towards that left hip. And without changing the figure four of your legs, come into the spine twist. Remember, you have the option to bring your neck into the party by looking in the opposite direction that your knees are bent. Just breathe here. What a great stretch we're getting right now on the outside of the glute. So you know exactly what's going to be coming up now for the opposite side. We got the same three ab moves, and then we're finishing with this long, deep spine twist. Yay. Carefully roll onto your back again. Let's uncross the right leg and reposition your back. Cross your left leg over. Keep the left hand extended. Find that cross body crunch to begin with. Remember, you can keep your left hand down on the floor to help you to find this little bit of lift, or you can challenge yourself just oh, your left shoulder, just hovering that left hand over the floor. I just need to slightly change the angle because it's a little uncomfortable for me right now to keep that arm extended out by my side. And that's okay. Remember, every day is different. Everyone's body is different. And you're just doing the best you can right now with the body you have today. Most important is that lower back is staying down on the mat. It's almost time to find that crunch and hold. Just a little over 10 seconds to go right here. We're going to hold it in three, two, one. Find that hold. Just reach. Shoulders off the floor. You got it. Three, two, one. Oh, excellent. Relax yourself down. Now we got that total body crunch. Upper body is coming to meet that lower body. Keeping that bend in your knee, though. Really making sure that lower back stays down on the floor. If it's uncomfortable to have this hands by your head, you can reach your hands towards your glutes, towards your heels already. Make sure you're really using that breath. Exhale to come up. And you're not leading with your nose or your chin. Well, I guess you're leading a little bit more with your nose than your chin. But you're coming towards the center line of your body, not just up towards the ceiling. I feel like I'm a little ab rocker, ready to find that hold. Get it, just hold it lifted, you're worth it. It's just 10 seconds for three, two, one, find that full body extension. Arms all the way up overhead. Extend that leg. Crunch it all the way in. Maybe extend the leg at the top too. What a great stretch and challenge this creates on those lower abs. So we're still just moving with control, with our breath, not letting momentum do the work for us. We're more than halfway there, I bet. We are more than halfway there. We just got a spine twist to finish up. 20 more seconds. Keep going. You are so worth this. Enjoy the burn right now. So you can see those results later. Oh, so good. Go ahead, plant that right foot down on the floor. Send your arms out towards the side. Press, lift up on your glute, 
and roll over. Remember, I did not change the position, so my legs are still in a big figure four, and that's bringing that awesome stretch all the way through the outer thigh, through that glute. Breathe through it. Oh my gosh, it is a lot of stretch right now. Yay, carefully roll onto your back again, uncross your left leg. You can take a moment to windshield wipe those knees right and left. And then carefully make your way back into tabletop. Let's pass through a couple cat cows before we find our way to our feet again. So coming onto all fours, ah, push into those hands, palms, separate those shoulders, and then bring your chest forward. One more time, because you know I like to be literal, and I did say a couple. All right, find that neutral spine, tuck your toes under, send your hips up towards the ceiling, start to walk your hands to your feet, walk your feet to your hands, transfer the weight into your heels, generously bend your knees, slowly roll yourself all the way up. Up the top, stack shoulders over hips. Inhale, arms come up overhead. Look up towards the ceiling. Exhale, relax your arms down by your side. Let's take one more big lift up. Bend your knees this time. Inhale, arms come all the way up. And exhale, as your arms come down, take your time. Find the stretch that you need. Maybe push through each hand palm. When your arms relax down by your side, take a moment in your stillness, in your mountain pose. Just grounding with the floor, keeping that chest lifted, shoulder blades squeeze. We're in a bit of a standing power pose because you are amazing. I hope you're so proud of yourself for coming today. I hope you feel great about whatever it is that you were able to put into the mat work. You're awesome for being you and just showing up. And I hope that you know and feel that. If you have any questions or concerns about anything that I said or we did, I know you'll reach out to me. I hope you all have a wonderful rest of your day. And I can't wait to see you again on Friday for our yin yoga practice. Bye, everyone.